Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I swear I'm becoming the community member that answers the most questions from YouTube. I'm not a politician and I certainly do not work for Google, uh, but I'm getting tons of really good questions uh, being sent through my YouTube account, which isn't always the easiest thing to track. I do prefer you send questions to my email address, chris at perillo.com. Regardless, this uh, came in from Cygnus, the YouTube user, uh, and it's in regards to e-readers and e-books. Technology lying in wait or falling flat on its face. I think they're a great idea with great potential. What can you foresee as problems? I see uproar from booksellers, but there will always be a hard copy market for sure. But it's sure to decline if e-readers become mainstream. I think I'd rather carry a five ounce e-reader for my college textbooks and then up to 20 pounds of books on my back, plus my laptop in addition, not to mention my favorite reads, but that's just me. Uh, Cygnus, uh, first of all, uh, I guess we should answer Technofreak's question, what's an ebook? Uh, you can think of an ebook as a book or text that is in an electronic format that you could carry around and read on your mobile device, whether it happens to be an iPhone or um, you know just a regular Windows mobile device. In fact, years ago, the old pocket PCs came with a mobile reader, uh, the ebook format from Microsoft, and they had a variety of, of books available with this in this particular dot lit format uh, but it, it never really caught on uh, great reading technology great bookmarking technology no argument uh, it was it was convenient to carry around unfortunately the industry just kind of moved past it um, now you, you might have purchased uh, an ebook in the past and it likely comes in PDF uh, in a PDF portable document format that's been put out by Adobe. Not, it's not an open standard at this point, although I think and I hope they're moving towards that uh, just because PDF is pretty ubiquitous. You, you should be able to view a PDF on just about any operating system, if not every, any, any type of device. Uh, if you want a good resource for free ebooks, Gutenberg is the place for you to go. Uh, they've uh, volunteers from across the world have translated texts, uh, uh, books, classic books that are in uh, the, uh, the free domain or the open domain, so that anybody can take and do anything they want with that text. Nobody owns the copyright anymore uh, because the authors have shuffled off their mortal coil and have since uh, you know passed on in most cases. Um, so that's a good place to go to get ebooks that you can read on a variety of devices, including your computer. So why would you want to read text on a laptop versus, well, let's say a real printed book? Uh, well, one of the things that I like about ebooks or having text inside some kind of document or even on a web page is that I can search for things easily. I will. One of the things that I always do, and I consider manuals potentially ebooks. When I buy something, the first thing I do is I go online go online as if it's not there all the time and I search for a manual in many cases that is also available in PDF so that if I'm if I need help with something instead of going to some kind of booklet and trying to look something up in the index I can't find anything I'll be able to search for it because I know the keyword that I'm looking for that's the advantage of having the text in an electronic format and then of course if it's in a format that is compatible with my mobile device then I could copy everything I need to to the mobile device and then carry everything I need around with me you know full on books or in ebook format uh, you know and in some cases just you know regular old manuals uh, the paper is the zip drive oh that that's funny pretzel uh, it's very true if you who remembers zip drives I still have zip disks somewhere around here. Uh, boy, that's an old technology. I bet a lot of the audience doesn't even know about. Uh, but you know, manufacturers, as I mentioned, you know, Windows had their ebook reader that came on their pocket PC devices. Uh, I don't really see it on the newer versions of the operating systems, though. I think it's kind of a, a dead format at this point. But Sony has tried to get into ebooks. Uh, certainly, you can read documents on your uh, PSP, and some people do. It's a great way to scan text to carry it around with you. Um, the old, uh, you know. The, even the older devices handle ebooks in a better fashion than some of the newer devices because the buzz has kind of disappeared. People are not inclined to read uh, on a mobile device. Or, you know, there's a much more rich experience to be had in mobile these days, video, audio, and certainly text is somewhat interesting, but not as interesting as an audio book, let's say, especially on a device that can carry an audio book like uh, with audible.com. Um, so 
Sony's tried something. I already I know of a new ebook reader that's coming out. I can't talk about it. I'm under embargo, but I've looked at it and I think on the surface it has strong potential. Uh, I don't know if it's going to take off though in the marketplace. They they may have done some things that may cripple its adoption. Um, if of course they could get colleges to sign off and having all the textbooks uh, in a, an electronic format, if not if they're not already on the web, uh, that's the way it needs to go. There's time and there's a place for having print copies of something you know uh, but you know when you're you're on the the go I mean having an ebook having a text reader is uh, is a nice thing to, you know just to carry around with you I could carry around in theory a, a whole library Shakespeare's entire works on this little phone uh, am I going to do that not necessarily because I was never really much of a Shakespeare fan I never caught on to the whole middle English thing uh, but you know the the idea is, is again uh, y you could in theory, carry more around with you with a much smaller footprint, and certainly in a lightweight uh, fashion. But ebooks are one of those technologies that we keep waiting and we keep waiting and we keep waiting. Is it going to happen eventually? You know, as as the technology gets better, you know, the hardware, storage, uh, accessibility, and of course the the breadth. Uh, of of coverage available, uh, you know. Part of the thing is is that you have to get a lot of these print editions to be accessible by the web, and then of course once it's accessible by the web, it's got to be legible, and that's the beauty of at least the iPhone is that. Oops, I'm, I forgot. I'm still tethered. I'm still charging the iPhone right now. Uh, <laughs> almost broke it there without even having used it for the first time. Uh, the advantage is, is that it has a very nice screen reader and you can access websites. So in theory, you've got your ebook library just sitting, waiting for you right there on a device with a beautiful screen. Uh, the same holds true for the PSP, another beautiful screen. Um, that's That's been a, a hindrance. I don't know, what do you guys think? Ebooks, are they gonna make it? Or is it just another one of those things like, eh, it was interesting at one point in time, but really the world has kind of moved on beyond the, the beauty of ebooks and we're still going to either rely on print or use whatever device we have accessible forget about the format forget about ebooks let me know what you think or of course if you've written any ebooks as i have i've got 17 ebooks that i've compiled about windows and os 10 and the internet uh, in fact i'm going to be giving those ebooks away to people who come to gnome decks i mean the advantage is you know not that strong i mean it's been a while but the tips are still very uh, useful and i'm sure people will will find uh, usefulness and if not them then maybe people who don't know much about technology in their family would appreciate them so i'm giving away 17 ebooks at gnome decks they're for sale on the web and you can buy them at lockernome.com um, anyway ebooks i don't know what do you think are they worth everything that they're cracked up to be? Are they even cracked up or are they just cracked? Let me know what you think. And of course, if people haven't already typed in the URL where you can find us live 24 hours a day, whether or not I'm here, uh, these guys certainly are probably talking about ebooks. Ooh, it's a conspiracy. Ebooks, they're, uh, it's, uh, they're made of green uh, tomatoes. I don't know. I'm just I'm saying that because I don't know how to end the video uh, other than just saying I'm, I'm ending the video now. I mean right now. Now I'm ending the video right now. Now.